FEMA and hurricanes. Congress acting like a bunch of little babies. Babies who, much like their fearful leader, you know, the convicted felon, Donnie Trump, seem to need their own endless supply of diapers. And after watching and hearing recent explosive clips of Trump's rallies, all I can say is thank God he's not near an open flame and no one's let a match. Or else we'd be calling this great balls of fire. Not to mention all the increasingly crazy, deranged, and incendiary things that have been spewing out of his mouth these days. Like in September, while at Trump Tower during a donor dinner, he turned around and called Vice President Kamala Harris retarded. Is he like three years old? And then went on to whine and whine and whine about how the Jews are going to back her. Or then, how about in February? while he was complaining about Obama and turned around and surprised everybody by saying, would you rather have the black president or the white president? I think they want the white guy. And to think that November 5th is only 22 days away, at least while I'm taping the show. That's right, 22 days until winner takes all. And the loser, well, yells hoax, fake news, stolen election, many other things, and then the filing of endless failing lawsuits begin. Well, you sent me your burning questions, and I'm ready to take a deep dive into this smelly cosmic mess that we seem to all be wading through, but not for long. Welcome back, everyone. By the way, I'm Arthur. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor here on YouTube. Now, I got a lot of wonderful questions, and many, many asked about FEMA and about Congress. First of all, all of the crap you've been hearing about FEMA not having the money, not helping people, it's all propaganda. All right. There have been boots on the ground before the hurricanes even hit. So all that is crap. And what I kept on feeling is there's one guy that put stuff on TikTok. What I got from the guys was he was paid for all that. And I think he ended up on Fox, but it was all propaganda. And it's going to be found out probably in about three months, maybe right after Christmas. All right. There will be an investigation done. In the meantime, like Turiani, will the Republicans in Congress pay a price for not returning to Washington, D.C. to fund FEMA for the damages incurred by the hurricanes? And also, um, Turianto asks, will the fact that Congress is delaying FEMA aid make the voters turn in for Harris? Yes. Yes. I mean, they're not doing themselves any favors. And um, the more they shy away from everything about and skirt the responsibilities, people are seeing it more. They can't lie about it. They can't say, oh, I didn't know. Well, they, people do know. And I believe people are starting to wake up. Okay? So the funding will be there. If there's any more hurricanes, I feel there may be two more. This season, I don't feel they're going to be as bad as Milton. I predicted earlier, I thought there might be a six, but the more I've been reading about it and scrying about it, I'm not seeing it as, as devastating. Okay. But you still, if they say evacuate, you evacuate. Okay. And the thing is, there are still people without power. And Congress isn't doing anything because they're on vacation. Yeah. Their people will remember. They'll try and blame somebody else for it. But when they realize there is no one else to blame for it, they will pay the price. Okay. Now, some Trump related questions. Is from Debbie Thomas 11. 
Is Trump even the least bit embarrassed when he soils himself? I will say no. Because basically, the way I see it, the guy's been crapping on everybody and himself for years. Even back in the 80s, he was asked to leave a restaurant in New York. So I don't think he gets embarrassed by this. I hate to say it. And the thing is, I'm not making fun of the man. He's older. He's got a problem. But this is why we do need to see people's medical records. And he's refusing to show his medical records. Other than the one doctor that said he's the healthiest person to ever run for president. And then that doctor's office got vandalized and he has now passed away. That's all I'm going to say. Karlstrom. Hi, Arthur. You have always said you were not sure if Trump would make it to the election. What do you see now? About the same. I know it's about, we have 22 days. I still see there's something where he may just stand around and, you know, go into a daze. And after that, I feel there's something is going to happen. So we'll see. I could be wrong. And I don't wish the man ill because I want the man to be around to see what he's done and to pay for it. Uh, Carl, Carl Hess. Has the timeline changed for Trump? <laughs> Trump. It also, it's also mid-October and no surprise yet for him to be incarcerated. It appears we'll still be seeing his name on the ballot after all, unlike earlier predictions from other readers. Well, I have to tell you this. Predicting stuff is fluid. Now, what I'm seeing here is you're saying there's no surprise in October. Yes, there have been some October surprises, especially with what Jack Smith filed in Judge Chutkin's courthouse, and she allowed it to be seen by the public. And now there's going to be more by the end of this month that um, the appendix, which is everything every document, every um, interview, deposition, everything that went through another grand jury that is being presented, there are going to be a lot of surprises in that as well. So I know it's not over to the fat lady sings. You hate me saying that. It's I'm not making fun of people. It's an old opera joke. Okay. Sally Lynn. Hi, Arthur. Does Trump live long enough to pay for any of his crimes? I feel yes. He may live to see it. Will he comprehend it? That's going to be a whole nother story. And that's how I'm going to answer that one. Ironweed 2010. Hi, Arthur. Will the prominent people on social media speaking out about Trump Project 2025, and other associates experience repercussions or need to be concerned for their physical safety. My first reaction is no. However, if, as in an alternate universe, Trump were to win, yes. But I, don't, I still don't see him winning. That doesn't mean we just go, okay, he's going to win. Or she's going to win. Or no one's going to win. You got to do something about it. Okay? I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Jitterbug22. Hi, Arthur. Or, Hi, awesome, Arthur. Will the thug be investigated? How many times is it now? For violating Logan Act. Will he be indicted for talking to Putin and Netanyahu? You're amazing. Thank you. And so are you. Really. She's a wonderful woman. Um, yes, this is just amongst a list of things that Jack Smith has. Again, he went for the first thing he could get his hands on, which was the DC stuff. Now, as far as the Florida case with the documents... 
dining over either. And Eileen Cannon is going to be in deep doo doo. Okay. Horsemith. Hi, Arthur. Will the release of the movie The Apprentice help or harm or have no effect on Trump? If you're talking about voting, if it's going to hurt him, I don't feel it will. If you're talking about him personally, I feel he screened the film already and he is not happy. Especially when they showed the liposuction scenes and his other plastic surgery. He's slightly vain. Deborah Godowski. Hi, Arthur. Does anyone in 45 Circle even care what is obviously happening to this man's mental health? This seems really strange to me as a retired nurse. Thank you. Well, as a retired nurse, I can see your concerns. However, I hate to say this, but I've always felt if Trump gets in, give it two months, they go after the 25th Amendment remove him, and J.D. Vance is then our president. That's why this is so horrifying. So, and don't forget, he wrote the foreword for Project 2025. Stargazer 78. Hi, Arthur. Now that it is known that Christopher Ray failed to do a thorough background investigation on Brett Kavanaugh, will Kamala replace him as FBI director when she becomes president? Well, I feel he will be replaced, but it has nothing to do with the Brett Kavanaugh stuff because Christopher Ray did not fail. Okay? He did not fail. The White House took it over. They took everything away from him. And the White House, no pun intended, trumps the FBI in this case. And um, by the way, by the way, they did it. Like the tip line with, what, 4,500 calls that were never investigated? Those logs are still somewhere. They were not destroyed. And I do believe one of the first things Kamala Harris is going to do is have that reopened. Okay? And as many of us have seen, Brett Kavanaugh is going to have to step down. Okay? It's not going to be pretty, people, but it's going to happen. Hazel Johnson, will the Harris administration take care, better care of the poor elders? Yes. Yes. In fact, she had mentioned that she would like to see that Medicare pays for people to be cared for in their homes. And that'll be a help for a lot of people. Okay. And I do feel that the living wages will be adjusted. And I do feel that people paying taxes for their social security, that will end. I will say in three years. I wish it was sooner. I could be wrong about that timing, but I really feel no more than three years and they get away from taxing social security. Thank you, Ronald Reagan, who started all that. Star Wo 5 and C. After Kamala wins, what lies ahead for Joe Biden? Will he be recognized for all that he's accomplished in the U.S. and with our allies? Will it be realized that he had to step ahead in recognition the full threat of 45, in recognizing the full threat of 45? Thank you. First of all, he will be going, he will go down as one of our best presidents, most progressive kind, and true. The man has been through so much loss and still persevered. But I do feel there'll be books written about him, and I feel he will probably pen a book himself when it's all said and done. Linda Walker. Hi, Arthur. Love your videos. Will our economy, will our economy boom for the next eight years that the Dems will be in control. Yes. Remember that everything was in chaos when Clinton took over. And then when he left, he left with the surplus. 
that is what I see. Okay. Kelly Taylor. Hi, Arthur. Elon Musk seems to be going off the rails. It looks like he's going to be getting in some deep trouble. Will you talk about that, please? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, I've been saying for a while now, I feel the man is being investigated for what he did by shutting off his Starlink during the opening of the Ukraine war after a phone call with Putin. I do feel that he's going to be in trouble. Also, there's a lot of other things. He's going to lose Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. That's going to go downhill. There are, I feel, three or four investigations about him. The New York Times wrote a piece recently where it linked the Trump campaign to X or tw and Twitter when it was Twitter. And it just is almost like, on a grand scale, propaganda. Hi, Arthur. How do your guys tell you about the future of Barr and Bannon? Blessings to you. Thank you, Hannah Shingle Angel. I just pronounced your name wrong. I've always felt Bannon, he's in jail now. He's not getting out. If he gets out, he gets put a revolving door. He's going back in. Bill Barr, I feel he knows he's in a lot of trouble. And I feel he's going to tell them where the shovels are, are and where the bodies are kept. And where the receipts and who bought the shovels. He's going to squeal like Ned Beatty in Deliverance. Okay? Antoinette's granddaughter. Antoinette's granddaughter. Hi, Arthur. Thank you for your insights. Will the U.S. of A. ever be rid of extreme right Christian nationalism nationalists who want to subject this nation? Are we as citizens too big to rig? I know that's two questions. No, it's not. There has always been and there's always going to be crazy. Cray cray. There is going to be cray cray compared, connected somehow to some religion, even if they make the religion up themselves. I feel as we go into the new administration, it's like with any cult, you get rid of the cult leader, the followers start disbanding and going back to their old ways. Some will be diehards, you know, but it's like cockroaches back going back under the refrigerator. They're still there, but I'm not being pesky. And just living their lives. That's how I'm going to read that. Sakil, Hi, Arthur. Do you see the PRO Act bill for unions being passed? If this is about the bargaining rights, yes. Okay? Because the Harris administration is going to be pro-union, pro-labor. Don't even ask me to pronounce this. K-A-L-I-X-W. Will any SCOTUS member step down in the coming months? I've been saying I always felt Thomas is going to be stepping down. Um, I still feel it. I've always, For the last two years, I've been feeling it. So let's see. And of course, we just talked about Kavanaugh earlier. He's going to be stepping down. I think John Roberts is getting ready to leave. I feel that Alito is, he's going to be in trouble too. There's going to be some hearings. And some people are going to have to explain what and why they did what they did, especially when it comes to Roe v. Wade. But as I predicted, and I still do, that the court ends up with 13 Supreme Court justices. So, yay. Now, Johnny9697. Will Senator Tammy Baldwin of Wisconsin be reelected? Yes. Yeah. Deb asks, Dan Osborne is running for Nebraska Senate. Will he beat 
Deb Fisher, the incumbent. Yes. I think he's already is ahead of from what I'm feeling. And Debbie Smith asks, will Jeff Jackson win attorney general in North Carolina? Uh, yeah, I actually feel it. So time will tell. Now here's a question from, from Grace. A question away from politics. Will microplastics be the end of us? Thank you. Well, I just want to say one word to you. Just one word. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir. You. Plastics. Exactly. How do you mean? There's a great future in plastics. Think about it. Will you think about it? Yes, I will. Enough said. That's a deal. And that's from The Graduate from 1967. So think how many years between 1967 and now how the plastics industry has destroyed a lot of things. But I do feel there's new technology coming around that will benefit anyone that may be suffering from microplastics in their system, in the water, in the air, in the food we eat. I feel it will be conquered. It may take five years, but that's what I read. All right. Martry, what percentage of Floridians thinking about voting blue in November and eventually ousting DeSantis? Thank you. I'm not getting a clear cut percentage, but I just feel at the end of the day, the Satan is going to be indicted i don't think he's going to f he'll finish his full term that's going to say so we can get his nancy sinatra boots on and keep on walking now there's one other thing that's been bugging me a lot lately and that's kind of continuation of my last show where i talked about trump being the grifter he's like the romp appeal of politics i swear but this whole thing about his Bible, you know, it costs $3 to print in China. And he's selling it here for $60. And now Oklahoma, the whole school board has voted that they have to have a Bible in every classroom. I don't see that happening. I see eventually that church versus state. But the interesting thing is the guy spearheading this is going, well, I don't know who the who's going to supply the Bibles. I'm just, yeah, right. The requirements for the Bible are a leather or leather-like Bible, King James, and it has to have the Constitution, Bill of Rights, Pledge of Allegiance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there's only one Bible that has that that I know of, and that's the Trump Bible. So I didn't realize that there's now a King James version of the Constitution. How frightening is that? So as of now, while I'm taping this show, it's Monday. It's the 14th. 22 days to election. Do not give in when you hear all the crazy stuff. I'm not saying play Pollyanna or go blindly and blissfully through life like nothing's wrong. You have to persevere. We have to do this. Now, I've always said don't listen to polls. Polls can be bought. I did a show with Mel and Sherry and I mentioned there's one TV show that I had worked with that they did a lot of surveys. And when the surveys came in, the answers, the producers switched everything. So it was the answers they wanted. So if they can do that for a TV show, I'm sure they can do it for a poll. That's all I'm going to say. 
in the meantime, I know you're getting sick and tired of me saying vote blue no matter who. But guess what? Vote blue no matter who. Because this is a frightening situation. We're not voting just for a Democrat or Republican. We're voting for a democracy versus autocracy. Do you really think Trump is not going to be a dictator? Do you really think Trump is not going to go after the journalists? He's already asking for CBS to lose their license. I mean, in many ways, this petulant child that he is reminds me of the Queen of Hearts, just off of their head. Oops. No. So we're all in this together. I'm rambling. Sorry. But we're all in this together, and we're going to get through it together. All right? So vote and take care of you, take care of others. In the meantime, as many of you know, I haven't been around for a bit. I did go to the Chicago event with Mel and Linda. Oh, my God. The Meeting Mel and Linda in person, they're the same people that you see online. They're the same person. There's no, except they're in 3D. They're wonderful. And uh, it was great. And a lot of met some subscribers. I met some clients. And it was a beautiful experience for everyone. And um, as you know, I, I do readings. And if you're looking for reading, I'm, believe me, I'm available. The whole month of November is open. And I still have, I think, a few left for this month. So check out my website, arthureasyourmind.com, and take it from there. Also, while in Chicago, we found the missing member of the Blue Man Group. Or maybe it was Papa Smurf. But anyway, he played piano. It was interesting. So that's all I'm going to say. So in the meantime, take care of you. Take care of others. Stay amazing. Vote. And I'll see you in the next video. And I promise it won't be two weeks or three weeks. It's going to be sooner. Because I have no life. I have no friends. So that's all I can do. All right. So take care of yourselves. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah, go for it, man. Go for it.